Hi, I'm going to give you some um, information using Affinity Designer with the F570 for Mac. And the first thing we're going to do is check our printer. We want to make sure you have the driver. So I'm going to go here, System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and make sure you do not have two F500s. So once we highlight this, you want to go to Options and Supplies. Make sure you don't have this checked because it will just give you generic printer settings. And then when you go to Options, these should all be on except on default media, you should have these two profiles. And I always use textile. I do not use rigid. It makes my colors so dark that I stopped using it for tumblers and everything else. And now I have this. Um, and it's, it will always be your default in the 570, so you don't have to worry about it. All right. So that's how you know you have the two profiles for textile and, and rigid. So let's keep it on textile. If you want to go with the other one, that's fine. But if you have something else, that means you do not have the drivers. And I would go to the Epson site. Let's go there just for the heck of it. All right. And we're going to go to Epson. And I'll show you where to get the drivers. Okay, so we're going to go to... Um, where is the... Printers. It's not that big. Anyway, we're going to do it this way. F570. And we're going to go here. And then we're going to go to Support. And Downloads. And we're going to choose, mine is the I think the 10.15. If you're not sure, go here and go about this Mac. And I am at 10.15. I'm still on Catalina because I don't want to update. All right, so you're going to go here and you're going to pick, you hit go, and you want to make sure that you pick under Drivers and Utilities, the Combo Package, and download it. And that's it for the drivers. If you don't have them in here, delete this printer. If you don't have them, delete it and start over with the utilities and, and drivers and just start over. Okay. I'm doing this for someone else who's doing Tumblr, so I'm going to start with a new file. I'm going to go to File, New, and she is doing Tumblr, so what I'm going to do is, I'm sure she wants to print more than one on a roll. So I'm going to pick, let's see, I'm going to pick this 17 by 22. If she's use, if you're using the 17 inch roll or the 24, you're going to change your your page width to the 24. But let's do it by 40 inches. We're going to make a lot of tumblers. Uh, 300 DPI, naturally in inches, and we're going to go this way. Image placement, prefer embedded color. This is important. You're creating your color with these color profiles. You're not printing with them yet. So the format's always going to be RGB forward slash 8. 
and your profile is going to be the SRGV IEC 61966-21. I'm sure you have others, but let's stick with this one. Transparent background. I like to see a transparent background. You, if you want to do it in white, take that off. I don't do anything with margins or bleeds. So now we're going to go to create. So here is your role. All right. So let's go and pick a file. We're going to go to place. And here is the graphic. We're going to go to open. And what you're going to do is whatever size you need, you're going to see it here. Um, so if you're going to do, um, I don't know what your tumbler size is. I usually do, I think it's 9.25. Five by eight something. I'm going to do 8.50. I don't remember, but I'm just giving an example that if you put the size in here, this will change. Okay, so you see 9.25 by eight and a half. Okay, so now let's make quite a few. So we're going to highlight this. We're going to go to edit. And we're going to duplicate. Bring it down, edit, duplicate, bring it down. Um, we can add one more maybe. You can make the, the roll longer too by just changing the size. So what I'm going to do just to show you, move this up. So you got four in a row. So if you want to change it, to make the uh, roll longer, what prints? So you're going to go to document setup and let's make it 50 inches. Five, oh. So let's see what it does now. Hit OK. And as you see, it just got bigger. Well, let's add one more. And we're going to duplicate and bring it down. Okay, so now we're ready to print. So we're going to go to File, Print, and we're going to pick the correct printer. Uh, this is another way to know if you have more than one 500. All right, default settings. Your first one is range and scale. We're going to change the letter size um, to... It's a user defined, so it's, um, I think we put 17 by 40. Okay. So that'll be 17 by 40. Then we go to document layout, single, bleed and marks. Do nothing. I'm going down every tab. Layout. And this stays the same. Next is color matching. You're going to use color sync. Now you see I have it as a default in the printer. So you see it's set to textile. There's also the rig rigid. Rigid. I keep it at textile. Make sure you don't use Epson. You want color sync, paper handling, nothing I do here. Next is cover page. I do nothing. Printer settings. All right, you see the paper size 17 by 40. I want same as paper. That's the output. I'm using my 17 inch roll. And this must match what we have in affinity. They both have to be the same. The target, no color adjustment because we're using affinity to decide on the colors. 
no color management you can go into settings it just shows you what it's going to look like levels you have a choice of speed doing it quickly but you will suffer in quality this one is just quality it'll be okay i use maximum quality it's going to use a lot more ink do not use high speed, you'll get banding, and I use finest detail. Those are my settings. You might want to change them. Then you would hit print, but I'm going to hit cancel so we can go back and see if everything is ready. Oh, it would be nice to get the right printer. That's another thing. Once you go back, you have to start all over. Uh, let's go back to color matching is most important. Printer settings. Okay, and then one more thing after printer settings advanced. On your roll of paper, you want normal cut. You want it to auto rotate and you want save paper roll. So it doesn't it'll cut where the last picture is it'll cut right here um don't use anything here you can if you want i don't if you want more black it's just going to wet your paper more i wouldn't do it that's up to you and then you just hit print i've already printed this and it looked great so um, that's how you get more than one piece, one uh, graphic on a page. Of course, if you want to do a separate one, so you want to go to New, do Letter, and File. You're always going to use Place. And we'll do this one. And you'll see you have this arrow you can make it any size you want so if you only want to do one tumbler again you're going to put the inches here the the width and the height if you want to add something again you can go to file place uh, let's see what can we add oh let's be kind okay just to show you, you can add things, you can add text, a lot of people don't know this, so you see there, I'm going to put test, now it's going to look very small. Now, if you look up here, these are your fonts. So you can highlight that and play with your fonts. And you can see them. Let me move this over a bit so you can see it. There we go. I don't know if I can move this over. It doesn't let me move it over. All right, let's go back to doing text. Highlight that. Go up here. Here's where all your, there's a cute one. And you want to change the color. You can move the wheel. You can change the size. Oh, that's a little too big, 144. Okay, and here's your other picture. Whoops, got to use the arrow. Again, you can make this bigger. You can move this around. You can make it smaller this way, too. You can change colors. So it's really, really easy to work. Um, hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of it more information than you wanted. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.